morning. I'm Captain uh, Rob Sherman, San Diego Fire Rescue Bomb Squad. I'm here today to talk about overpressure devices and fireworks. Every year, the bomb squad responds to multiple overpressure devices. These are considered a felony. Every time we respond to these, we send a packet to the DA's office for charges filed. It, it is illegal in the state. Not only is it illegal, it's very dangerous. There's, there's several types on how they make it. You may have heard acid bombs, dry, dry ice bombs. They use uh, different chemical mixtures to create heat and overpressure or cold and overpressure in these containers. Um, usually some type of plastic bottle. Um, the problem with this is every year thousands of dollars of damage is caused by these devices and sometimes they don't always function. We respond to, to the post-blast investigations and we also respond to the render safe operations if they have not functioned. The problem with them not functioning is a lot of times they have caustic chemicals in them. Not only does it cause uh, injury to people, the pressure um, put out by these things can, can really seriously injure or dismember or disfigure somebody for life. But also with that, people have been burned by finding these and, and, and going to collect them for recycling purposes. So when we respond to them, the ones that contain caustic chemicals, our hazmat team has to come out. Um, not only is it a felony charge, cost recovery can be um, sought after in, in the responses of these types of incidents. So we will demonstrate for you in a few minutes an overpressure device and how dangerous they are. They, they um, exert significant pressure on the bottles that they're in. And um, like I said, a lot of times they destroy property when they're functioned. A lot of uh, adolescents, juveniles, think that this is fun or some kind of, um, you know, gag or something by placing them in mailboxes. Not only, you know, with our charges, uh, of felony charges within the state, if they damage postal equipment, the Postal Service can also file charges for damaging postal equipment. Also, fireworks, illegal in the county. Um, this county has made them illegal for obvious fire reasons, but also every year across the nation, even in places where they're legal, people are seriously injured, killed, or disfigured for life because of fireworks. From simple burns, from sparklers, to, to actually uh, losing fingers, eyes, and other things from fireworks. So they're illegal in this, in this county. Um, people use them every year. Uh, they start fires also. Um, that, that creates significant response by the fire services in the county and uh, cost recovery can be sought after by, um, by the authorities for the response of the fire service. It is very dangerous. The, the upper plastic cap area of these bottles is very rigid. Next time you get a, a one liter, or two liter bottle, take a look at how um, you know, rigid that is. It, it actually sends some serious pressures. It will destroy objects. So that, that's the major concern. It has been used for property damage and seriously injured people. So it's like shrapnel? It's pieces of the bottle that causes injury? Or what? Yes, pieces of the bottle flying because the pressures built up are significant and, and the bottles were not designed for that. So it's not the liquid inside the bottle? Well, if it's a caustic mixture, um, I'm not going to go into recipes. Yes, it's a caustic mixture. You, you create a hazmat incident, hazmat cleanup, but also if it goes off, to the person that's making it, it can seriously injure, kill them, blind them for life. Um, it has, these have disfigured people across the nation, have blown off fingers, have caused people to lose eyes and, and those types of things. They go off because a mixture creates an uh, exothermic or heat reaction or, or a cold reaction. It basically, it off gases. So what it does is it, 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 the mixtures, depending on the type they're made and there's many mixtures they can use, it basically off gases and then creates pressure to the point where the bottle fails and sends shrapnel. You have no idea how long it's going to take for it to function. Everything has to do with the amount, the mixture, atmospheric conditions. So there's no set, oh, this is going to take five minutes. We've had them set um, throughout the city where they didn't function, and we know they were set the night before, um, but they didn't function because the mixture wasn't correct or the atmospheric conditions weren't quite correct. So it, it all, it, it, there's so many variables involved in these, they're just really unsafe to do. And we usually get them in a rash in area every year because of uh, adolescent, juvenile um, testing things. But dry ice is not allowed to be bought unless you're over 18 years of age. So the other types of chemicals, um, what they call acid bombs, can be 
be used with household items um, at the house. 